Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum wa sobat al-khair wa ya ayuh al-khadirun. Today we present to you our unique journey called the quest of Yusim Odessi. It is a quest of knowledge and understanding of Yusim. Imagine you are uh, you just completed your SPM and you found a mysterious book about Yusim that really captured your attention. So now let's dive into our synopsis. As a new student, you suddenly found a book titled Get to Know Yusim. In this book, you realize there are some missing pages in it and it tells you to go to Yusim to retrieve all those missing pages. And then you go to Yusim. At Yusim, you found a security guard. I am a, sec a security guard. Oh my, my, my mustache. Um, if you want to get this, uh, if you want to get this uh, missing pages, you have to have item and this book. I will give you this. It will help you a lot in your journey. And then you can start your own journey. So in the journey, not only you get to uh, to get to know uh, alumni and Yusim stuff, but also you get to uh, get to experience the uh, uh, what we call, call um, the checkpoint related to USIM core value and uh, USIM history, Campus Baraka and USIM Cermelang and USIM Disayang. In the end of the game, after you complete to finish to uh, finish this book, like you already got all those missing pages. Not only you know you seem from this book, but also you know you seem more deeper from your own journey. Our objective is, of course, we want our user to find these missing pages, and also we want to enhance our user uh, uh, knowledge about you seem. And we want to uh, we want to highlight our university uh, uniqueness to our. Uh, player. Also, we want them to understand, really understand about the USIM core value and to delve more into the concept of Akli and Nakli. Interesting, isn't it? How about our gameplay? So, for our gameplay, we focus on new student, new staff, or even use, uh, the student USIM itself. And USIM can even use our game to promote USIM, to introduce USIM to other university or other people, uh, other people like maybe uh, a school and something because our game is easy to play and it is the instruction also easy for them to understand and fun to play with as we also use the real character real name to get to give and to provide uh, the authentic uh, USIM experience also the building USIM itself we try to make more realistic as we can <laughs> and in this game we have four main checkpoints, and this checkpoint related to related to USIM core value. As we know, USIM core value have five. That is professional, alamia, muafakat, um, muafakat, amanah, and efficient. Where muafakat and um, and efficient, we combine it together. So, what is the unique of our game? The unique of our game is we have side quests. In this side quest, we make it uh, we make it more more interesting by change it into a campaign jom masuk usim in this campaign we have two booths the first booth is about um, uh, campus baroka and the second booth is about kenali usim in this booth not only user can interact with the npc but also they can answer quizzes from the booth and then uh, the npc around the side quest itself uh, user can interact with the any of the uh, character, any of the NPC. And the NPC is the a real character. For example, in here we have Ustaz Kariri, the real character, the real name. And Ustaz Kariri is the alumni of USIM. So when play a name, when play, play our game, it is like they are in USIM itself rather than they come, came to USIM. But this is a game version. So in this game, not only they can... Uh, uh, play quizzes, but they also have to help the NPC and or or the NPC asking you question, and then the player have to run and uh, find the answer in the set quest. And for, uh, for and next is our main checkpoint, that is uh, from the core value of USIM. First is professional. As we know, 
uh, we conduct it at the Dewan Tunku Chancellor at DTC. As you know, in professional have three things that they focus on. That is berilmu, beramal, hormat menghormati. Sebagaimana hadis Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tidak lengkap iman seseorang sehingga ia mengasihani saudaranya sebagaimana ia mengasihani dirinya sendiri. In this game, we have the reward where the uh, where the player have to follow some instruction and they have uh, to answer some quizzes. But if they felt so to uh, felt so to be disciplined and follow the instruction, they will get, uh, they will uh, be punished by answering uh, several questions about you seem cemerlang, you seem disayang. And in the end of the game, after they can after they finish. Uh, playing this game, they know what is professional and they know what is its significance and its function from uh, for student using for themselves and using itself. Moving on to the next checkpoint is the muafakat and efficient core value checkpoint. In this checkpoint, player will uh, need to collect item, answers questions, and um, complete mini game to understand and conceive the real uh, value and role of uh, muafakat and efficient value in USIM. Uh, the value of efficiency can also be, uh, be understand to produce a quality work. Uh, this is corresponding to the Quranic verse uh, in Surah Al-As. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wal-Asri inna insana lafi khus. Illa lazina amanu wa amilu salihat wa tawassaw bil haq wa tawassaw bil sorb Which stated that uh, every human are in a great loss if they couldn't manage their time efficiently Proceed to the next checkpoint is uh, The global, uh, the alamiah or globalization uh, core value uh, In this checkpoint, we will be uh, set in Faculty of Science and Technology, our faculty uh, uh, You must be thinking all of our game is the same, right? Well, it is not. Uh, in this checkpoint, player will need to. Um, in this checkpoint, we focus. We focus to highlight the concept uh, to navigate through language challenges, uh, and to, uh, player will need to understand uh, the basic language, which is the three main language in USIM, which is uh, English, Arabic, and Malay. Uh, the wrong understanding in the language will lead to. Uh, Drag time, so we reach to uh, drag time. So uh, moving to the next checkpoint is Alamia. Eh, I'm sorry. The Amana checkpoint, Amana core value. In this checkpoint, player will need to answer question that are related about trustworthiness. They emphasizing the importance of um, the this core value in daily life, and player will also be challenged to uh, to handle uh, interesting items in Minecraft such as arrow and bow and riding boat to complete the challenge. Uh, the cancellery also, uh, were also displayed and de decorated with Usim achievement uh, which, which, which can inspire player to, uh, to make history at Usim. Okay, to conclude, uh, at the end of this journey, player will not only uh, watch the celebratory fireworks, but also gain uh, uh, knowledge to uh, improve themselves. And they may not also gain, obtain the missing pages, but also uh, gain profound knowledge about Usim core values. Um, remember the Arabic proverb, uh, al ilmu Al ilmu, al ilmu an nur, al ilmu nuran, wal jahlu zalamun, which uh, stated that, which conclude that uh, gaining knowledge is important, and guess what? Our game uh, highlight the importance of gaining knowledge. That's all from us. Thank you for joining on our journey. Maasalama wa ila liqa. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Cyber Craft Defender. Okay. Uh, tahniah kepada World ni. Uh, saya main 
Saya rasa saya duduk dalam usim pula Tapi dalam alam, uh, alam fantasi Sangat menarik Kreatif, cantik uh, Elemen yang dibawakannya Memang betul mengikut uh, nilai-nilai teras usim itu Yang awak terangkan lima nilai itu uh, Saya main uh, Secara uh, gabungan uh, gamification pun ada uh, Cuma saya nak tanya uh, Saya tak main dah sampai habis kan Separuh je saya main <laughs> uh, Adakah dia mengangkumi ke semua dalam usim ini? Tidak uh, Dia Kita orang ambil Sesetengah bangunan je Sama grup kami mempunyai Empat pages, so setiap pages mempunyai Satu tempat masing-masing, contoh pages Pertama, kita orang letak dekat DTC Untuk pages kedua Kami letak dekat FST Yang ketiga, dekat KITM, and the last one Is on the chancellery Okay, uh, siapa user, user Target awak? Uh, mostly maybe User target kami adalah Semua terutamanya lepas SPM Seperti yang kita semua tahu Semua tu student yang baru nak masuk lah uh, Student yang baru okay. nak masuk And student user sendiri pun boleh okay. Sebab kita tahu ada student yang tak tahu Apa itu USIM core value Nilai-nilai tak USIM Anda tahu? Uh, tahu se- uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jadi Seperti kita tahu uh, Kita semua pernah merasai bila kita lepas SPM tu nak masuk uni, uni mana ni? Yang uni apa rasanya? Yang uni pula apa pasal Jadi apa? Jadi macam mana dia so, nak tahu main Minecraft ini sedangkan Minecraft ini dia ada limitation untuk expose kepada luar. Uh, apa tadi? Macam mana uh, sebab uh, si adik ni cakap uh, uh, untuk expose pada sel, uh, student luar kan? Hmm. Mereka hanya boleh main Minecraft ini yang edu ni bila dia cuma ada license of Minecraft edu sahaja. Okey, itu uh, limitation of Minecraft education. So how you nak? Oh, uh. Uh, we uh, kami bo- kami boleh promote kami punya tu dalam kami promote memulai kami punya poster ataupun dalam media sosial uh, dan terutama dalam kita kan akan ada university punya nak promote university tu kan kita akan ada buat dekat some event-event. Yusim boleh bawa kami punya game untuk tunjukkan yang Yusim ni pasal apa? Yusim dia punya uh, pemenangan Yusim ni macam mana? Lepas tu mereka boleh main untuk faham apa itu apa yang perlu perlu kita ada untuk jadi student Yusim. Sebab Yusim Yusim core value ni adalah apa yang Yus, uh, apa yang student kena ada untuk jadi student Yusim. Maksudnya orang yang awak bina ni mahas untuk mempromosikan Yusim lah sebenarnya. Ah uh-uh. Secara umumnya. For the next uh, future ni awak ada apa plan tak untuk For the next ni? future kami nak tambah ada fakulti-fakulti sebab kami nak betul-betul nampakkan yang Real Yusim. Adakah game ini pernah diuji pada mana-mana student untuk bermain? Uh, game ini pernah diuji uh, untuk student uh, sekolah menengah iaitu adik saya sendirilah dan dia sendiri puji sebab dia suka satu menarik, kreatif dan dia suka bunga api dekat belakang tu menunjukkan yang dia rasa bangga dia macam oh saya dah siap wow seronoknya. <laughs> <laughs> Okey baik terima kasih. Sama. Eh, saya ada soalan yang sama tadi. Doktor Mun tanya, macam mana nak bagi orang yang tak ada eh, account Microsoft.edu? Because eh, this is eh, Minecraft education, kan? Mm-hmm. Eh, kalau saya faham betul, eh, jawapan Cik eh, akan promote melalui social media, something like that. Mm-hmm. Jadi apa kepentingan game kalau you nak uh, share dalam social media so by buat poster share dalam social media uh, so uh, memang kami akan uh, promote benda ni dekat dalam social media sebab uh, and cara kami promote tu bukan kami tunjuk cara uh, game tu macam mana tapi kami nak uh, macam mana Uh, dia It's macam okay. tak semua suka membaca hmm. So sebab tu kami buat game And then uh, memang tak macam uh, Untuk uh, game ni uh, Memang dia kena ada account And kalau mereka nak main Memang uh, diorang boleh um, Kami akan buat video On how to create account Untuk Minecraft ni And then kami juga boleh buat macam live ke untuk mengajar orang siapa-siapa yang nak main Minecraft kami ni. Lepas tu at the same time um okay, untuk soalan pertama tadi, uh, 
Okay, tanya macam mana kita nak login uh, Minecraft Education sedangkan kita guna ML USIM kan? Yes. So, untuk cadangan saya, saya rasa kita orang mungkin boleh share kita orang punya account dekat orang orang. So, Minecraft Education ni dia boleh download dekat phone, dekat laptop and tablet pun mesti boleh. Uh, untuk macam mana kita share account kami, mungkin kita orang boleh tanya kebenaran ibu bapa. So, benda tu takkan budak-budak nak apa? Macam terdedah dengan benda tablet ni tanpa apa? Tanpa perhatian orang tua. Uh, itu mungkin salah satu kita orang punya langkah yang kita orang boleh lakukan lah. uh, Yang kedua, uh, untuk soalan kenapa kita orang tak post uh, untuk join to USIM rather than kita orang buat game je. Sebab uh, mostly sekarang budak-budak dorang kalau uh, semua tahu budak-budak banyak main game Roblox, Minecraft and benda tu macam kita orang akan tarik dia punya Oh, what you call is uh, like thumbnail. So maybe they uh, is like click bet to for them to play the game. Okay, uh, you nak share account dengan uh, your group target. The, you nak promote untuk satu Malaysia. You uh. nak share uh, account, tapi uh, tak payah share account sebab kita ke arah digitalization education. So KPM akan bagi mereka account Microsoft so uh, they can see. play. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, ya, last uh, kita tak tanya sangat lah, saya just nak komen sajalah. Okay, nak ucap terima kasih dan juga uh, ni salah satu kumpulan yang sangat jelas nampak USIM cemerlang, USIM disayang. Sebab kita explore dalam USIM, kita masuk dalam USIM. Uh, so, dia jadi satu material yang bagus untuk USIM boleh, kalau USIM boleh bekerjasama dengan korang untuk gunakan bahan ini, ini sebagai bahan promosi lah bahan promosi USIM secara gamifikasi dan saya nak berikan tepukan juga kepada yang present tadi ada elemen dramatik drama pakai misai dan sebagainya ok so sangat bagus ok all the best terima kasih Assalamualaikum Waalaikumsalam